I'm Dominique. And I'm Carlos. And welcome back to Two Modern Vegans. Today, we are gonna be making a Jamaican soup. And it's not the authentic version because of course it's vegan, but we're making a vegan Jamaican pumpkin chicken soup. Real quick, just take a second to make sure that you guys subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. This soup, you guys, is so delicious. And of course, you know, the weather is getting cooler because fall is officially here. Although we could eat this soup all year round, yeah, right? it's so good. So thank you guys, because we finally reached over a thousand subscribers. So like we said in our last video, we will be announcing a winner in our next video for our contest that we have for our 1K giveaway. We have a couple of things um, that you guys may have to go out and look for. Um, for one, we got tofu, which is optional. You don't have to put it in there. But if you do put it in there, this brand of tofu is really, really good. We got it from Whole Food. And that's really it. And like oh. I said, you know, I don't want anyone to get in the comments and come for us saying this is not, you know, Jamaican pumpkin chicken soup. <laughs> okay, there's no yam in here, okay? There's no chocho. There's nothing like that. Okay, we had to make do with what we could find in, where, you know, in our area. So this tastes really good without the yam. I'm not really a yam person to begin with, but it has dumplings and that's all that matters. Yeah, I have no say in this. I just eat it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's get this recipe started and here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with our jackfruit and pretty much we're just gonna cut off the hard part and take out the seed. And it's really simple. Um, what I do is that I cut the hard part and then I kind of smush it so that I could take out the seed is easier that way. And then I'll just discard of the hard part and the seeds because I'm not gonna eat that part. And that's really it. And it basically should look something like this. You're gonna continue to do this until you're finished with all of the jackfruit. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil to a big pot. And we're gonna add in a large onion and three garlic cloves. And you're gonna wanna cook that down until it's fragrant. And then you're gonna add in a half a cup of red pepper and a half a cup of green pepper. And you're gonna stir that up also. Next, we're gonna add our four cups of no chicken broth and five cups of water. Next, you're gonna add in three tablespoons of the no chicken bouillon paste and you're gonna give that a good stir. And then, Add your pumpkin puree, which is about 15 ounces. And we're gonna also give that a good stir. Once you finish stirring that up, you're gonna place the lid back on and we're gonna make that come to a boil. And while that's cooking, we're gonna work on our dumplings. In a medium bowl, add a cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and you're gonna stir that up until it's well incorporated. And you're gonna kinda make a well in the middle and you're gonna add in the one third cup of water and you're gonna add a little bit at a time because you don't want it to be too watery because then the mixture will be too wet. And I put on gloves because I didn't want to get any of the dough underneath my nails. But you don't have to use gloves if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. But it basically should look something like this. And once it's ready, we're going to break it off into pieces to start making our dumplings. Also known as spinners. Um, this should make about seven to eight. But if you make them smaller you will definitely get more out of this mixture. Once that comes to a boil, we're gonna add in our two carrots chopped and our 
three celery stalks chopped. Next, we're gonna add in our four cups of butternut squash, and also we're gonna add in our potatoes that we cut up. And it basically should look something like this. Then we're gonna go in with our jackfruit. This looks so good already, you guys. Mm. And you're gonna give that a good stir. And then we're gonna go in with our Hodo curry tofu nuggets, which is totally optional. You don't have to put it in there, but it does taste really, really good in there. Next, we're gonna add in our chicken noodle soup mix. And you have to be sure that you get a vegan one because a lot of the regular ones have chicken fat in there, so be careful. Also, you're gonna add in your two sprigs of thyme and you're gonna give that a good stir. And then we add in our spice blend and that is also listed below. And you're gonna make that come to a boil and you're gonna top it with your scotch bonnet pepper and you're gonna add in your pasta. And you're gonna give that a good stir again so that everything is well mixed together. And then you can add in your dumplings. And once that's added, you can go in with your corn. And you kind of have to make room. As you can see, our pot was not big enough for all this soup. You can go ahead and let that simmer. And this is basically what it should look like. This soup is not your typical chicken noodle soup. It is filling, it is thick, it is hearty, and it surely will last you all week. And oh my God, you guys, just look at this. It looks so delicious. And I promise you that it tastes even better than it looks. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as we did. Hey guys, we hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe. It's so good. We can't wait for you guys to try this soup. If you like this video, please make sure to like this video. Also comment below. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, as well as go on our website, 2modernvegans.com to check out recipes that we feature all on this channel. We also put other recipes that we didn't make videos for yet. See you guys later. All right, bye. bye.